Hey guys, what's going on? So for the last 30 days or so, I've been working on making some changes in my life. And as a result, I've dropped a fairly significant amount of weight. I wanted to do this video specifically for the reason of sharing my process and what I've been doing to make the change. So before I get into that, how big of a change have I made? Well, on day one, it was something like this. And as you can see, really pretty quickly, things changed. So how did I do this? Well, for one thing, I'm not a medical professional, I'm not a fitness professional, I'm not licensed or any certificates or anything like that. I'm just a guy. I've got a few people keeping an eye on me who are professionals, but this is just what I've been doing and this is how I made the change. Three simple things. Number one, figure out your bad habits. Acknowledge that they're bad and get rid of them. Number two, look at your diet. Figure out how you can change your diet to eat right and find a system that you can live with. Number three, figure out a way to monitor your level of activity. Now do more. Okay, I know that all sounds very simple and that all sounds very common sense. So let me go a step further and explain exactly what I mean and exactly what I did. Because, let's be honest, all those things that we started with, we all know that. Okay, so number one, bad habits. For me, bad habits was alcohol. I, 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 I hate quantifying myself as an alcoholic. I don't, I've never been to a meeting, I've never, I just, at the end of the night, I'd come home and I'd have a few drinks, and over time, I had a few more drinks, and over time, as my tolerance built, I had more drinks. And at a certain point, it got to the level where I was coming home every single night and having six, seven, eight, nine more drinks. Now, let's reduce that to a very simple level. You can Google the stuff online. Nutritional information is freely available for more things than you would expect. Uh, let's go to Pabst Blue Ribbon. Wasn't my preferred beer, but it was something that I probably consumed a fair portion of. Um, Pabst Blue Ribbon publishes their caloric content as 150 calories in a 12 ounce can. If you're knocking back a six pack, that's 900 calories. If you're doing more than that, it's more than that. It's not great. 30 days in, 30 days sober. I do think that has made a difference. I've also cut sugar, I've also cut salt, but the big thing for me was alcohol. Done. Point two, look at your meal plan, look at your diet, figure out how you can improve your diet and eat better. For me, I, I'm not a cooker. I'm not a, a, a guy who's active in the kitchen. Like I, I love cooking, I love prepping my own meals, but I hate maintaining I hate the extra work. I hate, uh, you know, cleaning up and there, there's a whole lot involved in that whole process that I just initially was not willing to commit to from the outset. So for me, when it was pitched to me to check out these future foods, this whole concept appealed to me because it was effectively like having a dietitian and a nutritionist and having someone take care of all of my shopping needs and it's low maintenance, it's easy to make, you add, grab a powder, mix it in some water, shake it up, drink it, done. This obviously is extreme. It's a huge, huge change. A lot of us aren't willing to necessarily give up solid food. I, I made that leap and the weight loss has been extraordinary. I'm not saying that I have the right path. I'm not saying that I have the only path. But the fundamental point of Examine your diet, now do better, remains the same. Simple enough. So for me, as you can see behind me, I kind of got into three different future foods. Uh, Soylent, Ambronite, and space food. All three are linked below in the description. And if, if you are interested, I recommend checking them out. Ambronite's a little more expensive, but it's chock full of you know natural ingredients and 
uh, real organic superfoods, and it, it's fantastic. I feel great after I have an overnight meal. It's a bit more expensive. It is probably the one amongst all of them that, that tastes the most like health food. Uh, when you drink Ambernight, you're <laughs> there's no illusions that what you're having there is anything but healthy. Um, and then there's space food. Space food has multiple recipes, multiple things available, and initially I was thinking, okay, they, they've got one that they added to Ghirardelli chocolate. I'm thinking, awesome. <laughs> you know, chocolate, I can handle this. Um, the downside is one meal. It's... You, what, you, what you're looking at here is 45 grams of sugar. That's 135 grams of sugar a day. That is a lot of sugar. It's an extraordinary amount of sugar. Now, there's a difference between drinking apple juice and drinking Coke, obviously. Both of them are full of sugar. Apple juice that is 100% natural, fresh pressed wheat, okay, apple juice, all of that naturally organic, uh, inherent sugar that was right there in the fruit, that's fine. Coke is about adding sugar. Soda is about adding sugar. Uh, so one of the things that I wanted to do was embrace the idea that all foods do contain a certain amount of sugar, and that's fine. But fortifying food with sugar is not great. Um, this was all kind of influenced by the uh, documentary Fed Up, which I definitely recommend checking out. Um, also, you can link that. In, uh, also, you can check out the link down below in, in the description. Um, so, after I used up this first batch, I believe this is my last of the, the chocolate space food, we switched over to organic. I've actually not yet tried it, but I'm excited to have it in, in the apartment. Um, it went from 45 grams of sugar a meal to 26 grams of sugar. That's a huge difference. In addition, 17 grams of protein, 50 grams of protein. So this very likely, I'm gonna feel more full, I'm gonna feel more satisfied, and also I'm going to have more energy. And you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a big guy. If I build muscle, great. Yes, that will affect my weight loss, but that's fine. As far as it goes, when you're looking at your diet, it's not all about just cutting calories. It's about what you're eating and eating smart. I am using this future food as a shortcut, but the shortcut seems to be working. It's something that I was willing to do, and it's something that I've stuck to. It's a huge step. Do what you will. And we have number three. Figure out a way to monitor your level of activity. Now do more. For me, the easiest method for uh, tracking has just been a couple of simple app downloads to my phone. Uh, there's several apps available by Nike. Uh, put those up here. Uh, Nike Fuel is sort of the most basic of all of them. Leave your phone in your pocket, and it monitors your steps, monitors your movement. You can tell whether you're sitting, standing, what you're up to and it lets you earn fuel points as a result. I don't understand all the mechanics of how it works. All I know is it's giving me a good baseline of something to shoot for. Uh, the second is Nike Move. So if you're gonna go and do yoga or jumping jacks or push-ups or whatever, um, you can put that one on. Works better if you've got an armband on, so it can monitor your heart rate. Keep track of exactly how hard you're working. Um, I'm sure you can find that all, all online. And then there's Nike Running, which will actually chart your progress. And this is the one that I find kind of the most interesting and the most, uh, <laughs> it maybe pushes me the hardest, um, because then it maps out your whole course. You can take pictures as you go and it puts you sort of a whole picture together of exactly what it was that you did, um, which I think that's all pretty cool. Um, but bottom line, when it comes straight down to it for me, as a filmmaker, there's a whole lot of that process that involves 
a little more than sitting on your butt. Uh, whether I'm writing a script, sitting in the editing bay, doing sound mix, whatever, I'm sitting and there's really no way around that. So it's a whole process of, you know, working hard, but hardly working. And having the Nike Fuel app, it allows me to sort of chart my progress on how much I'm doing every day. And on days like today, when I wasn't going to do much but work on filmmaking and editing and writing, it gives me an excuse to get outside and push myself. So here I am. Got to get a little further. Got a few more points to earn to make my day. And you know what? I'm, I think I'm eight days in a row of making my goal. Certainly not going to let that go today. today. So, you know, it's for me, just getting outside and walking. That's been enough. Sure, it's earned me some uh, nifty sunburns and uh, some <laughs> crazy tan lines to come, I'm sure. But put my time in. That's what you got to do. So, is that really all it takes? little, you know, habit correction, diet correction, activity correction. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Like I said at the start, I'm not an expert. It's just what I've done and what's worked for me. I encourage everyone to follow their own path, experiment. I mean, in the end, you do you. I'm not saying big isn't beautiful. I'm really a true believer in the idea that we are all beautiful in our own right. All I know is, for me, going back to day one, I mean, you can see it on my face. I wasn't happy. And for me, exploring the dietary change, exploring the activity change, and really in the end exploring the physical transformation, it's allowed me along the way to explore a psychological progression as well. Am I, uh, you know, skippity doo dah, like super happy all the time? No. I'm a pretty serious person. I'm a little more contemplative, kind of isolated frequently, frequently by my own design. But. Re-exploring discipline and re-exploring what I'm truly capable of reminded me that I'm strong as a person. So, I mean, at this point I'm only 30 days in. It's a long way to go, even just to get to the 90. But it's a journey I'm willing to take. So, thanks for being with me and before we go, me address a couple quick questions. Okay, so some basic questions. Uh, diet. Does eating right mean eating less? Possibly. I was eating a lot. Uh, did a little math and a little honest reflection and there were days that I was hitting four or five thousand calories. Possibly even more. That's a lot. So did I start eating less? Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, as far as dieting, you know, do you need to cut out indulgences, cut out cheats? No. Just do it smarter. I, you know, at this point, because I'm kind of going a little more extreme, a little more hardcore, a little more like, mm, uh, I decided that I wanted to go 100% liquid. So I've got the future foods, I've got Solent Space Food and Ambernite, and then I do a lot of juices. And I mean, I'm gonna be honest. Before this all started, you probably couldn't have paid me to drink kale juice. And now I kinda like it. <laughs> um, man, things have changed, who am I? Um, but no, like my, my favorite indulgence now is going to the juice bar, and just to save my pocketbook a little bit, I end up going to the grocery store and looking at the fresh juices. Um, when you're looking at fresh juices, when you're looking at a display like this, 
it's important to really look at the labels because there's certain things that where if you wanted to indulge a little bit, um, I, today I'm doing a naked juice because I like naked. Uh, I mean, who doesn't want to get naked? You can use that. Um, but they do a lot of juices with no sugar added. Yes, there is a lot of sugar in fruit. So acknowledge that you're taking in a lot of sugar. Sugar causes an insulin spike. Insulin, if you're not using it, it will produce fat. So make sure you maintain a reasonable level of activity. Um, and then indulge away. You know, do what you do what you gotta do. For me, right now, this is more than enough. Because it's delicious. That and man, that's so good. Um, if you don't have something a whole lot, when you allow yourself to have it, oh my god, it's incredible. But that said, right within this this display, it, um, for myself, I miss I love the sweet cinnamon, I love chai spice, I love, oh, look, there's a chai option. But look closer. See, if you flip it around, look at those sugars in the nutritional content, and then look down at the ingredients. They added cane sugar. There's nothing wrong with that, it's fine. But I'm really cracking down on sugar. Watch Fed Up, it's worth it. Ton of info. Um, so just eat smart, you know, acknowledge that if you're here and you're looking for a method to lose weight, uh, you know, if you want to build off of the success that I've had, just look at what you're doing. Figure out the little bits that aren't working and make them better. In certain cases, eating less can actually do you harm. If you're already at 2,000 calories and you're thinking, well, I, I can cut down to 1,500 calories. The body needs a certain amount of protein. If you don't provide the body protein, the body will eat protein from your muscle mass. As your muscles degrade, you then have a harder time working out. You have a harder time staying active. Your muscle to fat ratio starts swinging the wrong direction. And at that point, eating less is hurting you. So just be realistic. Just be honest. I, that's what I'm trying to do. And I mean, half the time, look, look at my video pages. See, you know, I, I don't have a huge following right now. When I'm preaching, I'm sometimes preaching to myself. Because sometimes I need this advice too. Okay, as far as exercise. Someone recently asked me, how much time do I spend working out? Uh, none. Since this process started, I have not had a gym membership. I have spent zero hours and zero minutes in the gym. I work as a bartender. I take public transportation. So walking from my point of origin to the bus stop, walking from the bus stop to my destination, and then when I get behind the bar, I'm very active. And frequently just within that, I can hit my activity goal for the day. Today, I went out. I took a little walk and hit my activity points. There's certain days where I've done a lot more. Uh, there was a day just recently, I must have hiked around 11 miles, went up to the Hollywood sign and killed my activity goal. Like, it's all good. It, you know, I just through walking, just through exploring, am getting done everything that I need to do. So really, that's all it takes. Get rid of your bad habits. Fix your diet. Eat smart. Get, get active. Find a way to monitor your activity. And once you're figuring out what your baseline activity is, do more. That's all I've done. That's it. 32 pounds in 32 days. Hope this helps. And hey, you know, if you're starting your own path, message me, comment me, like the video, you know, share this on. I want to find inspiration in your journey and find new ways for me to explore. So let me know what you're doing. Let me know what's working for you. Comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And one more quick thought. Each time I do one of these time-lapse videos, I like to use that as sort of a benchmark to sort of explore 
what does this weight loss really mean? What's a different way for me to look at it? And since this time I talk about the idea of muscle to fat ratio and how important it is to be losing fat but maintaining muscle, I mean, we all know, I mean, we've all heard a hundred times muscle weighs more than fat, which isn't exactly true because muscle, you know, a pound of muscle and a pound of fat, you put a pound of muscle on the scale, it's going to be a pound. You put a pound of fat on the scale, it's going to be a pound. But the volume, muscle is denser than fat. And so the, so the same volume is in fact heavier. In fact, check this out. We've got a pound of muscle, I think this is actually five pounds of muscle and five pounds of fat. So losing 32 pounds, assuming that that actually is fat, I thought butter might be an interesting surrogate. So I ran down to the grocery store and uh, looked at 32 pounds of butter. An average box of butter is an inch and a half tall, seven inches long, and three inches wide. So if you put two of them side by side, six by seven, so that would be a tower of butter, six inches long, seven inches wide, and 24 inches tall. That's a massive amount. But there it is, 32 pounds of butter. Man. It's not a bad result for a month. All right, that's really it. I'm done. <laughs> Check out the next video, more coming soon. Have a good one, guys.